pull back on it. Back? Mm-hmm. And then now now you'd want to push it back and make it go lower. Pull it, oh. pull, pull forward. Okay. Forward and make it go one more notch. Oops. And then pull it back. Oh gosh. I know it's kind of tough. Oh I can feel it coming up. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Then Whoa. That yeah. Oh wow. It worked. That oh my slick? gosh, that is super slick. That is slick. <laughs> it is. Okay, so today we are building a new pig pen. New and improved. New and improved pig pen. <coughs> oh, oh my <laughs> god! Good grief, people. We're <laughs> acting here. Come on. What? We're acting here. Come on. Mom's recording. We're acting. We're not acting. We're being natural. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A hundred percent natural. A hundred percent natural. This is the real us, guys. Yeah, I've always tried to be real, but anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we are building a new pig pen. I'll let Miley tell why we're building it. Because they're her pigs for 4-H. Uh, I, I don't, because the old pen's kind of small and uh, old. And the feeder. And the feeder always gets dirty. And the shelter isn't the, the best either. They need right. a new shelter. They need a new shelter and also so that way we can put the pig feeder up here under the shelter. So that way when it rains it won't get water in it like it used to. We used to spend hours upon hours always cleaning that darn thing out every time it rained. Yes. And we felt, I felt at least... I personally felt like the pigs didn't gain weight as well because their feed was always nasty. It rained a lot last year and we had a lot of wasted feed and everything. So hopefully by putting it out here under this thing, uh, we'll be able to fill the feeder and it won't get rain in it and all of that. Have so. you shown the pigs officially? I haven't I shown remember. the pigs. If you want to see her pigs, you're going to have to wait till later on in the video to see them. Yes. If anyone wants to drive these tea posts in, for me, they can. Um, I would prefer to do it outside. Yeah, not under the shelter. It's the most difficult task of all, isn't it? This is the hard ones. You can't get a full spike swing. You can only go up that high. It's a lot nicer if you can go up higher. So basically, our plan is to um, have the pin go in there a little ways under the shelter. And then we're just gonna go ahead and build the pin out that way, down a ways down there. Um, a little further than way, where Miley's at. And we're gonna put their water down that way and then they just kind of have a long, narrow pin. And that ends the last T post that goes underneath the shelter, so the rest is up to you guys. What? <laughs> have fun. I'll do like one or two, but I'm not doing all of them. <laughs> I wouldn't try doing it because I don't think I've ever done it. Okay, Miley's going to try and Brooke's going to do a couple. Me, I'll, I think I'll just hold the camera. I'll oh, probably I'll do the rest. <laughs> Let's go do it. Let's go do it.
we have this wonderful idea to put the feeder in there and it's just not quite going to fit. We just need to trim the little nubbins off, I think. It's hard to get those little nubs off, isn't it? Sounds like an old, like, screechy, screechy door. <laughs> it does. So we have the pin officially done. Getting the pig some water. Smell. It looks really dirty in here. It's like a bunch of hay and stuff. If you want to dump it, you could. Another one over here. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks dirty. Okay, dump it. It'll be fine. Putting a temporary water deal right there. They're still pretty little yet. Oh, that looks much cleaner. That does. So we got the pig feeder installed and it looks really nice. We ended up taking a ratchet strap and strapping it to the fence and putting some bricks and wood and all that underneath of it so I think that'll be good. We have it propped open because the piggies are used to eating out of a pan and not a feeder. Get them used to that. Then Miley made their bed for them. Pooped out, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go in and do nothing for the rest of the day. Get your pigs out here and we'll do that. Are you going to drive the tractor up there and get your piggies? I don't know. Got the trailer hooked up. We're going to put them in a little carrier and bring them out here. We managed to get one pig, so we couldn't get both of them loaded in the carrier, so we just bring them one at a time. So one at a time. Pig's on your end. <laughs> pig's light. Light. Piggy 2 has arrived! He's like, oh, I hear you! They're talking to each other. I'm gonna go in the pen and distract him. Come here, Piggy! Piggy! Come here! Come here. Oh, I missed you, friend. He's like, I want to go back. <laughs> but whatever this green stuff is, it's delicious. I have to say, I think these little piggies like their new home. I think so. 